Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to give you guys a little bit more updates to my Atlas and kind of what I've been doing on here. Uh, I spoke about how I wasn't really able to sustain much maps uh, early on in a, a couple videos, but that has actually changed now and we're doing pretty good. Uh, although I did run out of maps today, that's because I was kind of like going pretty ham. We're almost level 95. Um, and my torture chamber supply is totally fine. So currently I've got uh, Shaped Infested Valley as my tier 13. My tier 12 is Bone Crypt. My tier 11, which is actually my favorite map, uh, I've got Shaped Underground Sea. Like I said, this is my current favorite map that I have. And then I've got a nice little bulk here of 19 Shaped Toxic Sewers. Um, so I want to show you guys how good this current map is right now this underground sea all i have is it rolled with beyond basically and i've got a sextant here which i am using by the way I highly recommend for you guys to use your sextants now they're really cheap and they're really effective for just adding more density um so i've got just a simple additional mobs here and then i roll this one which you can't see because it's bugged but it's just one additional item on uniques probably the biggest change that i did was forcing a permanent elder slash shaper cycle on my maps so i have one over here on torture chamber which is a bit inconsistent but this one on underground sea is really good the way it is right now because it's basically the rivalry happening i kill elder you know and then shaper comes over and then i kill shaper and then elder comes over and then vice versa uh, if he for some reason leaves this area like completely he'll usually chill over here right like this is right here and then i just clear torture chamber which sends it directly back here and that way i don't really have to mess up my atlas or anything um also down here i have like a mini cycle going on um, but I'm not really running these maps right now. I'm kind of just saving them. So all I have to do is basically pull, where is it? Um, how did I do it? I don't remember. Oh yeah, here, this goes to here and then this can go here. And then that'll kind of like bully this guy into being like a permanent influence as well. So anyway, I want to just go ahead and get this running for you guys and show you how the Death's Earth character is working. I haven't really done anything in terms of upgrades, so you can see all the gear is pretty much the exact same as it's been. I've just been leveling up. So we've got Elder in here. Let's see what's going on. That's yummy. That's a volatile. Nope. Oh, rip. Try to catch him. Oh, hey, Hoss. So he drops a guaranteed unique. Just kidding, I lied. Forgot he's not considered a boss, Kappa. Torture chamber, that's one return. Feels amazing. <clears throat> As you can see, there's just so many mobs in here. Like, there's, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And because there's so many mobs, you're always rolling at that chance at return. Elrion. Survive for a minute. Alright, guys. So it looks like there's going to be another minute on this uh, video, Kappa. Um, but yeah, so part of the reason why I unshaped fields and shaped underground sea instead is I don't know why or how, but it's just the density is just so insane in this map. Um, and because of that, it's, it's honestly, this map alone has made such a big difference in sustaining my Atlas uh, and all the maps with it. Um, and I'm pretty sure this map can be run all the way to level 100. It's a tier 11. It's a red tier. So I'm pretty excited for that. Tier 14, for sure, we're going to be shaping Waste Pool. I do have a tier 13 shaped. We talked about that. It's the Infested Valley. It's a really easy map for me. The boss is simple. You know, I'm CI. It's the Lady Chaos Ladybug thing. It does no damage. Um, but I, I feel like the map density isn't very good in it. So I may end up changing that to, like, Courtyard. Uh, courtyard mainly just because it's triple bosses, which is good for map return. So we'll see. I am kind of scared of porcupines, though. It's it's not like I can die if I have all my buffs up. It's more or less or like if I accidentally don't pay attention and run into a pack of porcupines with three damage mods, uh, there's a good chance I'm gonna die without like Volgrace up and stuff. Oh, this is also a uh, less AOE map for people who are curious. Ooh, a shrine. Oh, there's like nothing there. Oop. 
take this and perfect. Okay. I have had to log out one time here uh, because of bears. I basically charged into a room with no exit, and uh, yeah, that was uh, super spooky. Oh, it's Baymouth. Valdidi, let's get away. I really like that new Valdidi animation on Baymouth. Makes it much easier to see what's happening. And this loot filter is blocking out like a lot of loot as well for people who are curious. Have to come back for that six socket later. And that. Okay, so here's gonna be the single target of the build. Um, what the hell was that? Uh, nothing too crazy. There wasn't like any like tanky mods on the map, but just to show you like the build single target is is totally fine for mapping um, There's really like no issue with it whatsoever. Let me just go pick up the rest of Oh I don't know if that's good or not But I'm just gonna it looks it looks I don't know. See I don't ever play attack builds. I'm gonna put that over there Let me just go grab these Okay, and there was that six socket right out here with the divination card. Perfect. And despite there being a lot of shit, that was actually pretty much a full clear. So yeah, that's pretty much the method that I have been using to um, to basically sustain maps is using sextants on the maps that you're actually going to run. So just two sextants here, like I only have two of two, um, and that's like more than fine. Remember when I'm when I'm down here at Bone Crypt, you have two yellow sextants here. When I'm doing shape toxic sewers, I have like yellow sextant, yellow sextant, white sextant, but you can only do two. Um, I don't do anything with this map yet. I'm kind of just holding it and stocking up. Torture Chamber, since Torture Chamber is not a shaped map, this is my map again that kind of just, I just get an abundance of it and it's good because um, it helps me with my shaper influence on Underground Sea. It's also nice because it ties into Malformation, which I sell for like five chaos per because I don't need to run it. Uh, and that just goes right back into currency for me and I can just pretty much just keep looping this method. And it's working out a lot. I recommend if you guys are having issues with map sustain, really make sure you take the time into setting up an elder slash shaper cycle because it, it does make a huge difference with the amount of loot that you get out of them. Elder spawns like a shit ton of portals. The portals have insane drops. They spawn mobs. The portals themselves can drop maps. Uh, he, they can also spawn, I forgot, they can just add monsters to the map. Shaper can add like a bunch of shit to the map. He can add, uh, uh, what is it? He can add like the fucking Celestial Righteous Fire guys and like the weird dudes. Sometimes he adds like a little mini boss in there too. Occasionally you will get kind of spooked because Shaper and Elder will come into your map and actually like attack you and you can't hit them back. So pay attention to that as well. But overall, I've been really happy with this method right now. We're at 97% completion. Uh, I can still get a little bit more like I've got Twilight Temple to do. I also have to do Poor Joys. I also have to do Vingtar. So that would put us to 100%. Uh, and just a few more maps and we're gonna see you know what's going on and when my xp diminishes i'll probably like move up in tier but so far i'm really liking this underground sea and i cannot wait to get waste pool over here shaped because this is going to be super awesome anyway hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves uh let me know if you guys are on the left side of the atlas this league or if you're on the right side of the atlas or if you're on you know either one then it's whatever but uh, i thought that was pretty cool that i just realized i'm like completely divided and I don't even touch anything on this side except for this map. So anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I uh, hope you guys like me on this screen. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Actually, one more shout out. Uh, remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care.